Have some some good energy. I like that. I like that. So we just want to start our service for for this morning, and I'm happy to see all of you guys. Candy, I'm happy to see you. Faith at the back. Good to see you guys. Guys at home who are watching us, how are you guys this morning? It's a lovely Sunday morning, and we're just happy to be in the presence of the Lord. And we just want to start. This is a very amazing junior church service. A very special service for that matter. You can see we have quite a number of young people and they'll tell you their names shortly. But before we do that, I'd like us to pray. So I'll ask maybe Christian, do you mind praying for us? Nope. Okay. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. Thank you, Lord, for enabling us to be here today. Thank you for your guidance and protection. Thank you for everything that you've done for us, Lord. I pray that this day may be wonderful, marvelous for all of us. Let this be a joyous and enjoyable service. Be with us and protect us. And all those who are at home watching us, Lord, protect them too, Father Lord. And though we are facing tough situation through this corona period, I pray, Lord, that you may intervene and that you, your name will be lifted higher, Lord. May be thus today. Protect us, guide us, and bless us. In Jesus' name, pray and believe. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Christian. I feel there is so much energy. So I want us to maybe just sing a song. I don't know who can sing for us a song over here. Someone to sing for us a song. We'd like. Ha! Thank you very much, Valerie. Yes, Val, please sing for us a song just to get us all warmed up and all excited this Sunday morning. All right? What song are we singing? If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy hey. and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, and you really want to show, if you're happy and you know, clap your hands. 
If you're happy and you know, say amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know, say amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know, and you really want to show, if you're happy and you know, say amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll add one more. If you're happy and you know, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know, stamp your feet. Oh, if you're happy and you know, and you really want to show, if you're happy and you know, stamp your feet. Have we left any other? If you're happy and you know, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're happy and you know, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're happy and you know, and you really want to show, if you're happy and you know, say hallelujah. If you're happy and you know, stand up. Hey, if you're happy and you know, stand up. If you're happy and you know, and you really want to show, if you're happy and you know, stand up. <laughs> if you're happy and you know, dance a bit. Uh -huh. If you're happy and you know, dance a bit. If you're happy and you know, and you really want to show, if you're happy and you know, dance a bit. If you're happy and you know, sit down. Sit down. If you're happy and you know, sit down. If you're happy and you know, and you really want to show, if you're happy and you know, sit down. Thank you, thank you very much. Ah, thank you, thank you very much, Val. So we'll just get straight into our lesson for today. But how have you guys been? Let me first just want to get to know how you guys been. Let's start from this side. Val, how have you been? I've been good just meeting church and the people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just praying for this corona to end so that we can come back to church. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That is nice. That is nice. Casey, how have you been? I've been good. I've uh -huh. been doing online classes uh -huh. and yeah. Really? Yeah. How are those online classes? They're okay. Oh. All right. Uh -huh. Faith? I've been good. You've been good? Yes. Hey, you're so quiet today. <laughs> yeah, you're too quiet. You're too quiet. How have you been? I've been good. Uh -huh. What have you been up to? Not anything important. <laughs> what do you mean? Not anything. Okay. Are you going to school? <laughs> no. Online classes? Zoom lessons. Zoom lessons. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Christian? Yes. Uko namna gan? Min ko fine. Uh -huh. Mambo? Kutawa? Tak to find to. Buddha? Yeah, Chapatu Kazi, yeah. Ah, Chapatu Wax. Yeah. Hey, Unifiti. Candy? Yes, Brian. Hey. Oh, yes, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> How have you been? I've been good. How just, is, uh -huh. just doing school, you no know, uh -huh. praying for this whole corona thing to end. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Are you guys. Oh. Hi, Chetina. Hi. You're well? Yes, I am. Good to see you. Good to see it's you always too. nice to have you around. Yes, you should be coming for these classes more often. We are happy to see you. Yeah, how have you been? Been well. Oh, great, yes. great. Awesome. I'm really you, happy. Brian, how have you been? Ah, me have been wonderful. I cannot even begin to imagine how to explain how I'm feeling, how I've been. It's been exciting. God has been gracious. He's been amazing, keeping me safe each and every time. Um, working from home has also been there, so I'm also working from home. So I'm also doing Zoom works. Yeah, so it's just a lot of adjusting, but God has been gracious. Yes? Amen. 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 So anyway, I brought you guys here so that we can talk about one thing. Yeah, and I want us to just discuss, uh, the last time me and Tina were here, we talked about... We talked about the four Ps. The four Ps. Do you remember them? Do you remember four Ps? Uh, uh, <laughs> right. But it was summed up in terms of, we were talking about relationships and we were defining our relationships with others and how we relate that with our relationships with God, right? But today I want us to look at friendships. Yeah, I want us to get a bit deeper and, and talk about friendships uh, before we can sum it up also in, in, in a whole relationships, uh, generally as relationships. But friendships, tell me something about friendships. Do you have a best friend? Yes. Who's your best friend? Oh, your best friend is here. Oh, Valerie, you're her best friend? Yeah, and Great. she's my best friend. And she's your best friend. Awesome. Christian? My best friend is at home. He's at home, yeah. but you have a best friend? Yeah. Uh-huh. Do you have a best friend? Yeah. A 
Ako wapi? He's just thinking in each other. Hey, you guys are free. Your friends are good. Kila leswa. Faith, you have a best friend? Yes. Ako wapi? Ta. Candy? Yeah, I do. She's at home. She's at home. All right. How is it with your best friend? How is... Uh, or, or let me first just ask, how do you, or what makes that person your best friend? Um, she's funny, she's nice, and like when I'm sad, she's always there for me. Okay. Yeah. I like that last point. When you're sad, she's always there for you. That's awesome. Huh, Christian? We share a lot. With, we share a lot. To, we share a lot in common with my friend. You share a lot in common. Yeah. All right. So I'll just, uh, I want to try and remember. So you say it. When you're sad, she's there, so she's available for you. You've also said you share a common, common things. A common things. Yeah. So it makes you your best friend. She's uh -huh. understanding, uh -huh. loving, then she cares, and uh -huh. we have we share best moments together and sad moments together. Why? Hey. Hey. <laughs> Why? Hey. All right, all right. I wish I had you guys as my best friends. Uh -huh. Um, my best friend, she's understanding, and I can relate to her. Like if I have a problem, I can talk to her she's always there for me and i'm always there for her so awesome. yeah awesome uh -huh. faith tell best me. friend's really nice she's really loving trustworthy and very reliable wow 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 i like your hey your points are deep loving trustworthy reliable reliable all right <laughs> shares common things uh, is a uh, understanding and always there for you even yours is also uh, availability and reliable, uh, <laughs> kind. Uh, well, please remind me. What did you say? Kind, She's loving, loving, caring. caring. Uh -huh. My Casey, uh -huh. tell me about your best friend. My best friend is help. He helps every time I'm in trouble. Something like that. Okay. And also he's kind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like what you said. He's helpful. Let me ask you. Uh, does he also help you in case you don't know something? Yeah. Okay. Are you guys in the same school? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Same class? Yes. Awesome. 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 Yes. To all of their best friends who are watching us from home, a round of applause to you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Right? So those are best friends. So now, I just want to think uh, a bit wider and just ask you guys, um, uh, do you know what are the types of friendships that are there? Do you know types of friendships? Yeah. Okay. I will use a good example. Um, who can tell me what is an acquaintance? Who is an acquaintance? An acquaintance is like not your friend, but it's someone you know. Okay, I like that. Not your friend, but it's someone you you know. Awesome. Uh huh. Who is a close friend? Uh, yes. A close friend is like someone, like maybe you're in the same neighborhood or maybe in the same classroom, maybe you got the same church, maybe like all of us here are like close friends. Mm -hmm. Like we don't know each other deeper, but we are friend, like close friend. Okay, I like what you said. So you share a common thing. So either you go to the same church, the same school, you live in the same neighborhood. All right, all right. And who is an intimate friend? An intimate friend is someone that you trust with your secrets, you share secrets, you talk together, you know each other deep. Mm -hmm. That is an interview. That's okay. That's very nice. I like those two, those points. You know them, you share, you get deep into finding out how each and everyone is doing. So that's what I actually just wanted us to just come this morning and just talk about. Because right now, you guys are at home. You guys are going to online classes from home. You guys are not leaving the house. Are you guys even able to meet with your friends? No. Rarely. No. And how is that going? Bad. Kind of tough. How is, is it Boring. affecting your relationships? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Tell me, you said it's kind of tough. Tell me about it. You know, all of us, we don't know your friend's status. Maybe he's affected, but he's asymptomatic. He's affected, okay. but he doesn't. Asymptom what? <laughs> Asymptom <laughs> asymptomatic. <laughs> Yeah, all right. <laughs> He's affected, but he doesn't have the symptoms. Uh -huh. Yeah, so maybe, uh, maybe the, that close contact, like it's not, it's not. It's not there. My my dad could say it's uncouth. Uncouth. Yeah. <laughs> I like your dad's words. Uncouth. <laughs> uh huh. 
You've also said it's been affected. Tell me. You don't meet the best friends more often. Uh-huh. You only get to see them in the screens, and that's not fine. So how are you guys dealing with that? We talk through the phone. Uh-huh. How many times do you talk? Okay, probably once or twice a week. Wow, once on the we weekends. Have Maybe on the why why not on the weekdays? Because like we have classes. Yeah. Oh, do you guys have your phones during the weekdays? Yeah, for the oh, okay. like in my school we have like the WhatsApp group. Oh, so okay. you need to have the phone. Okay. Maybe to my catch dad. Up with yeah. The, yeah, you send oh. the work back. Okay, so you've said to cope with it, you talk once or twice a week. Candy, how do you cope with it? Me, I talk to my friends. I just make sure they're okay. Like my number one when I'm talking to my friends is asking them, are you okay? Do you need anything? Because at this point, like you're not seeing your friends, it's kind of, like from some of the people I know, mm-hmm. it's kind of scary because you don't know if your friend is okay. Like they could have COVID and not know. So I think... For me, what's most important is to see if they're okay. Yeah. Mm. Faith? It's, it's being with a friend mm-hmm. is really like boring, but sometimes there's no way to communicate. So, me, the thing I do, I just pray for them and let God do the rest. Awesome, awesome. One thing you guys have said, you guys have said so many good things about your friends. You've said, oh, they're kind, they are you want to tell me you guys have never had bad friends? We have, we have, have but they come have. and go. They come and go. Yeah. <laughs> Where do they go? Anyway? Uh, <laughs> they come and go. Tell me, uh, tell me about your bad friend. This is girl who used to be in my school. <laughs> I so hope she's like... watching us. Okay. <laughs> we'll pray for her. <laughs> okay, so like she's. I don't know how to. Under... I don't know how to explain, but sometimes like when I've done my homework. She's like, Casey, have you done homework? I'm like, yeah, please give me the answers. And I'm like, but I worked for it. I can't give you my answers. Then she's like, please. Then I'm like, okay, so I give her. And then when I need something, Mm -hmm. she's not there for me. Like, what do you need? Like, maybe if I'm sad. No, no, no. no. (laughs) When I'm sad, like, she brings other things. Or she's, yeah, but she's not there for me. Have you had bad friends back? Yeah, mm-hmm. everyone has bad friends. So this girl was actually my friend because in school, you know, there are these people who love, who are loved most. Mm-hmm. So I am one of them. So she wanted to make, be my friend so that she could be popular among the school. Mm-hmm. Now, when I need something from her, she doesn't like give it to me. But when I'm with my other friends, she like. Valerie, we are supposed to work together. You see, we said we are a team, but in the opposite way, she's not like that. She's not a good friend. Yani, she does not understand. She does not care. Yeah, so you just draw her. Well, you guys are using big words. They do not understand. They do not care. Okay. Um, I want to tell you guys maybe um, just one thing about about friends. Um, you know, friends can influence you to do. And I'm very happy that you guys have all been able to experience bad friends. Um, and what made you, you've, you've even made the choice for yourself to drop that particular bad friend. Have you ever, or maybe I can ask, is there anyone who's ever struggled to leave a bad friend? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, I had this friend, uh-huh. he was like, like I don't want to say like dumb or stupid, but uh, they are kind of Where? those kids. <laughs> those kids, like, they don't understand stuff. So, I'm he, kids. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm joking. Eh? <laughs> uh, so, maybe, maybe, maybe when I'm doing my stuff, yeah. he sits next to me, like yeah. in front. So when I'm doing my work, he says, Chris, Chris, number five for my pata. Then, then, then since he is like that friend, like they push you to do something, like you don't want to do it. Mm-hmm. You know it's bad, but mm-hmm. they want you to do it. Maybe, maybe in our school we have this. We should not speak in English, in Kiswahili. Mm-hmm. So maybe, Wait, maybe your school you don't speak in, you cannot speak in Kiswahili. Yeah. Wow, man. So, okay. so he tells me, <laughs> "Kuna nice ngo pasu tachafu na itaisha." So yeah. ana kumbia suonge tu kuni nini, kuni kuni. Then, then, then maybe 
you know some words maybe you feel like yeah sinyo kweli kwa ni kwa nini then you are motivated to do that thing and it's really bad yeah the teachers know you as a good kid uh, the uh, people who follows instruction but when you hang around with those kind of friend you look like you are among amongst them like maybe maybe they do bad things but you don't you just accompany them now it, it it changes your reputation it ruins your reputation now people know you like another person who you are not yeah mm. i like i like i like i like what you said and one thing i really like about you guys is that you guys are able to pick out uh, bad friends and you're able to pick out good friends yeah but i want us to even father because there are guys who are watching us from home and they might not really um, have experience to all this i want us to help them understand so i'm going to just ask you maybe you guys can tell me what are some of the uh, how some of the things that make uh, a, someone to be a bad friend a few elements that would pinpoint someone to be a bad friend okay so that even the guys who are watching us at home when they see these elements uh, for example um, for me i'd say uh, one of the characteristics of a bad friend is someone who is an unbeliever that cannot be my friend for me i am a christian i love god and i am born again and so i require that all my friends are also following the same path so if you're not for me you're considered not my friend of course you can be good yes but you can be good to others but for me you're not my friend so one for me my friends have to be uh, believers all right ah let me hear you uh, disobedient friends disobedient friends friends with bad character i like that friends with bad character people who are disobedient yeah. uh, gossipers mm -hmm. gossipers they, they uh -huh. do things behind your back they do things behind your back yeah <laughs> you seem to have quite a bit of experience <laughs> all right so we've said and believers we've said people with bad character you want to give us one more um i think people who only want one thing from you like what valerie said mm -hmm. the girl who was your friend mm. she was only your friend because she wanted to be popular i think people who do that they think it's okay to just use someone it's not mm. for their needs yeah mm. and so i think someone who has that kind of a character is just need to stay away mm. uh -huh. yeah, yes. someone who is not trustworthy if you tell them your secrets you trust them mm -hmm. they go spreading and soon the whole class knows about it and you know people in class they are going to spread it all over <laughs> Just that so, ah, and uh -huh. then you're going to feel like mocked and something you're going to be sad mm -hmm. so those are not good friends okay and you want to add one more uh -huh. friends who refuse correction wow, wow. Yeah. i like that <laughs> friends who refuse correction so you tell them something and then they they know it all. Know it all, eh? Ah, all right. There's a verse mm -hmm. in the Bible that says, yes. whoever hates yes. correction is he's stupid. Yeah. yeah. He's a fool or he's stupid? I'm going to put both. Yeah. All right? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Christian. Whoever, please repeat so that guys at home can hear. Whoever uh -huh. does not like correction uh -huh. is stupid. Stupid. Yes. <laughs> yes. You need to love correction because um, each and every day, we make mistakes each and every day at times we, we we fall short and we do some bad things but you need to be able to be corrected you need to be someone who listens and also it's good to have a friend who listens yeah someone who listens so they can they can be corrected yeah who can give me maybe a few examples of friends in the bible good friends in the bible david and jonathan david and, i knew you'd say that david and jonathan eh uh -huh. the two prophets elijah and elisha elijah and elisha well done hey ah, my friend what number you anyway. <laughs> Joshua and Caleb Joshua and Caleb uh huh Naomi and Ruth Naomi and Ruth uh huh anyone Moses else Moses and Naphtali Moses and Naphtali <laughs> Wait, you know our super is called the Naphtali anyway I'm just saying I'm just saying but thank you guys yes those are some of the best uh, friendships in the bible and let me ask what are some of the things that made them become what stood what stood for example David and Jonathan uh, one incident that really defined their friendship. Okay, when uh, when King Saul wanted to kill David, uh -huh. Jonathan went and told David to go and hide himself mm -hmm. so that he would not be killed. That's an example of a good friend. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And one thing I like is that you guys have been able to define 
the kind of friendships you have um, and you'll be able to pick out some of those things and even if you look at the people we have mentioned in the Bible, you would pick out what you've said. So you'd be able to pick, for example, in David and Jonathan, um, just like um, one who can help, finding a friend who can help you out, finding someone who, can, who has your back. Jonathan had David's back, and we can tell that from the story you've, you've just said. But I also want to remind you guys that you also need to seek and to ask God to direct you to the right friends. Yeah? It is not just a matter of uh, picking friends uh, just like that. There are people who pretend, you know? There are people who pretend that they are very good, they have your back, they are doing all the right things. But then, <laughs> after, a few, after a few days, a few months in school, you find that they just wanted something, something from you. Yeah? They just wanted to destroy maybe your image or to paint a bad picture. So you also need to ask God to give you the right friends, right? you the right friends. Aha, uh-huh. Chetina, do you have do you have a good friend? Tell us about a, one of the most memorable experiences with your best friend. I know your best friend, then they know. Tell us. For me, for me a best friend, my best friend um, has to be someone who is full of positivity and does not have negativity. Um, it's not right to stay near people who are full of negativity. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, so I just want to tell you guys, even during this time, yeah, in as much as you all have uh, your friends with you, it is also important for you guys to ensure you build uh, those friendships. Even now, when you're at home, it can be hard. I've not heard anyone say, uh, mommy and daddy are my best friend. Yeah? I've not heard that. So I don't know if you guys, your parents are your friends. Do you guys share with your parents? Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> I will not want to get into details. <laughs> but your parents should also be your number one friend because they're the one people who will never lie to you. They will always, everything they say, everything they do is out of love and that, their love is genuine because you're their child. You be your number one? After God. Yes, definitely after God. Yeah, but they're your number one best friend. So you should also work. As you guys are taking, for example, you said you call uh, Casey once or twice a week. Get also to call mommy and daddy once or twice a week and just check up. But they're, 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 they're always there. You'll, get, you'll, uh, you'll like get bored with them like they always they are the same routine wake up do this do that uh, guys guys mm. guys, guys. <laughs> no, but let me ask uh-huh. yeah um how many of you in the morning go to your parents room and ask them how was the night not me okay me i don't like go to my parents room i wait for them to come down and i ask them how was the night but you make the effort of asking yes. how they are mm-hmm. well, that's a good thing and that's how you build friendship with your parents uh-huh. Yeah, they are not boring. What do you mean they are boring? Like, like they're not every boring. day, you see them like at least you could have been like going to school, mm. but since you are home, mm. day in day out, mm-hmm. like you are there, the you even feel like you are congested in there. Mm. Yeah. Okay. But guys, I am going to remind you that each and every day, build those friendships with your parents. Even during this time, it can be so difficult that you guys are not seeing each other. Yeah, but be deliberate. Go out of your way to call, to find out how someone is doing, to check up on them. And also, at the same time, look to build other friends. Because you can't just have Casey as a friend, you also need to also have other friends. So as you're also looking for other friends, as you guys are growing and meeting new people and going to various places, remember what we have said. The few attributes that we that God desires of us. Yeah, finding people who are finding friends who are believers, ensuring they have a good character, ensuring they are not immoral. Yeah, but I also want to just tell you in the book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 24, it says that it says that there is a friend who sticks much closer than a brother. And who is that? God. God. Exactly. God. Number one best friend, closer than a brother. He will never leave you, he'll never forsake you. Yeah, he is always there. Even when you do whatever it is, you, you wrong him in whatever way, he's still be able to hear you when you call unto him. Yes, and he should be, he should be your number one friend. Yeah. But as we conclude, I just want us to um, share just one thing about your friendships, about your relationships, that you'd want us to pray for you. Yeah, so that we can pray together um, about that even during this time. In case there's anyone also at home you know who's having a challenge with their friendships or relationships, you 
let us know so that we pray with them together, all of us, and then we can call it a close. Yeah, but if you're okay, Nisa, but let me hear. Casey, any challenge? No. Wow. Hey. I wish I was like you guys. Uh huh. No challenge. We're okay. We're okay. <laughs> uh huh. Anywhere. Yes. Maybe peer pressure. Peer pressure. Yeah. There's a lot of peer pressure. Yeah. You guys, in fact, guys at home, all these guys here are candidates. Yeah. So I'll also ask you guys as you are at home, please pray for them. Yes. But this is also peer pressure. I like that. So we'll pray for peer pressure to avoid peer pressure. Uh huh. Thank you, Christian. Uh huh. No problems. No problems. <laughs> no problems, Candy. I don't have anything now. No problems, no problems. No challenges. No challenges, no challenges. <laughs> Alright, no problem. But we'll ask that we'll remember Christian um, and anyone else who might be facing a lot of peer pressure even during this time. Yeah, at times you can be called in the pulters. Ah, Chana na your class. You're not even in class. I don't get a laptop. Watch your own. The teacher won't know if you're, if you're there. Yeah, so we'll pray for that. We will pray for the guys, for the guys who are at home, um, ensuring just even as they are at home, their friendships, their relationships are also great. Yeah? But I don't want to pray for the peer pressure. I want to sum up. I want someone to pray for that and to pray for anyone else who's at home. Ryan, yes. I would like to add also. Please do. Um, being able to pick the right friends. Awesome. That's something that Awesome. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Chetina. So we can do that we can do peer pressure you can do also being able to pick the right friends yeah so who's going to pray for which mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Me, i'll randomly pick or i'll ask the guys at home to just tweet us in the class who's who should pray anyway uh -huh. Casey, pray for peer pressure. Uh -huh. Pray for uh, uh, helping to choose, uh, uh, choose friends wisely. Oh, okay, sour, sour. Helping to choose friends wisely. Fine. You can do that. I'll pray for peer pressure. You pray for peer pressure. Chitina, you want to sum it up? Yeah, you pray at the end. Awesome. Awesome. Alright, so who's starting? Thanks. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for this day you've given us. And please, can you help us to choose our friends wisely and help us to understand them and help us to uh, teach the bad friends good morals. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Let us continue in prayer. Uh, Heavenly King of glory, do come before thy presence, honoring and glorify thy holy name, saying thank you for this day that you have provided unto us. King of glory, I do pray for peer pressure. King of glory, may you make our peers stop giving us peer pressure on wrong things, but let them help us to be good friends, help us to be loving to one another, help us to protect one another. In Jesus' name, I do pray and believe. Amen. Amen. As we continue in prayer, Lord, we just want to thank you for each one of us over here. That Lord, you may be with us, that Father, you may guide us. We even want to remember our parents back at home and our friends, oh God. And even, Lord, we um, want to pray that we may be able to do what we have been taught to do, Almighty God. And that, Lord, you may be with us, that you may walk with us, even in our studies at home, Lord. And that, Lord, you may um, continue um, creating good friendship and knowing what is right and wrong in friendship, Almighty God. And Lord, for the rest of the week, Father, I just want to pray that you may bless us. Amen. 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 Let's say the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Thank you guys. It's awesome to have you guys. Um, it's good to have you guys here. And before we leave, yeah, before we leave, just before we leave, can I ask that we recognize people with birthdays? You know, with a birthday here. You know, on the birthday, you know, on the birthday, you know, on the birthday. All right, no one is here, but we know you guys who are at home. Some of you might have birthdays this week, this particular past week. We just want to celebrate with you and we want to sing with you a happy, happy birthday. All right? Who wants to lead us in a in a birthday song? Yeah, it's up, no, uh, but Val is. Uh, uh, anyone? 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 Which 
do it this day. Happy birthday to you. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's all <coughs> strengthen our our voices, our voices. <laughs> our what? This guy. Unajua vitu mingi sana. All right, all right. We're going to do uh, sing a happy birthday song to everyone who's watching us from home, from wherever you are, around the country, in the US, in the UK, Denmark, England. All you guys. What <laughs> were... Guy, we are seeing you guys. <laughs> and we just want to celebrate with you guys this particular moment. All right? Casey, take it away. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear friends. Happy birthday to you. One more time. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear friends. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, guys. Catch you guys next Sunday. Let's all wa wave to them and tell them bye. bye. Awesome, 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 awesome.